With the NFL season on the horizon, there are going to be a few coaches feeling heavy pressure to perform this year. These are the coaches who could be on the chopping block if their 2023 season doesn't go to plan. This is the Pigskin Reports. Let's start in the AFC West with the Las Vegas Raiders. Josh McDaniels' first stint as a head coach back in 2009 was a complete mess. In fact, it's one of the worst in recent history. There were many clashes with players, including quarterback Jay Cutler, who McDaniels eventually traded to Chicago. He then benched Brandon Marshall and traded him in the offseason and was fined by the NFL for cheating when one of his staff members videotaped a 49ers practice violating league rules. Yikes. McDaniels had learned under Bill Belichick and then headed to Denver with an attitude that he was going to force respect out of his players by throwing his weight around. It didn't work, and following a 3-9 start to his second season in charge, he was fired. That tenure was so ugly that it took McDaniels over a decade to get another crack at a head coaching job. And even then, many fans ridiculed the hire. Josh McDaniels hasn't been shy of controversy the second time around either. In a similar fashion, he's completely uprooted the personnel of the roster and already moved on from quarterback Derek Carr, traded tight end Darren Waller, and made several other moves that, if they don't come off, won't look good on his resume. There's a lot riding on this season, and the switch from Carr to Jimmy Garoppolo might not be much of an upgrade, if at all. McDaniels has certainly made his presence felt, so let's hope the results back up his actions in 2023. Kevin Stefanski is under a lot of pressure in 2023, too. And while it might not all be his fault, you can bet it'll cost him his job this season if the Browns don't get some results. The offensive guru arrived from Minnesota as one of the hottest tickets in coaching and took over a Baker Mayfield-led Browns team aiming for the playoffs. It worked, too, and as a rookie head coach, Stefanski led the franchise to an 11-5 record and a playoff win over the rival Pittsburgh Steelers. It looked as though Cleveland had nailed the hire, but the regression of the offense and multiple other struggles led to two straight losing seasons and a failed attempt at returning to the playoffs. In 2022, Stefanski got a pass due to having to deal with the incoming Deshaun Watson controversy and a situation that meant Jacoby Brissett would start the season and Watson would finish it. Deshaun looked underwhelming, having come into practice late in the year following his suspension, and you can't exactly blame the coach for that, but in 2023, it has to click. The franchise has invested too much money into this quarterback, and the likes of Miles Garrett, Nick Chubb, and Amari Cooper aren't getting any younger. No pressure, Kev. Brandon Staley and the Chargers are going to be under pressure this year, too. It's a very competitive division, and yet missing the playoffs just doesn't feel like an option. Following a brutal loss in the playoffs last season in which the Chargers surrendered a 20-point halftime lead and were held to just three points in the second half against Jacksonville, the coaching staff came under fire. Staley and his staff were simply outcoached and failed to adjust like Doug Peterson did to win the game. Defensive coordinator Ronaldo Hill left his position to go and join the Miami Dolphins, and offensive coordinator Joe Lombardi was fired following the playoff collapse. So this year, Staley will feature new coordinators on both sides of the ball, and they need to get to work in a hurry. Justin Herbert got paid a brand new $262 million contract in the summer, and the franchise will now want to make sure that Staley is the right man for the job. The roster is more than good enough to win now. And if they don't, he's gonna be in trouble. You can't help but feel like if the Chargers miss the playoffs, Staley will be gone. Todd Bowles hasn't exactly inherited the easiest job, but his job is gonna be on the line this year anyway. Following the Super Bowl success in the Tom Brady era, head coach Bruce Arians stepped down and practically handed the job to Todd Bowles himself. Brady was still there for his first season in 2022, but the roster was crumbling. The offensive line had holes in it, and the talent struggled to stay healthy, leading to an ugly 8-9 regular season finish. As the best of a bad bunch, the Bucks still made the playoffs, but got thumped by the Dallas Cowboys on their own home field. Bulls now has a far worse roster and no Tom Brady, and will need to pull a rabbit out of a hat with Baker Mayfield at quarterback. On the one hand, this could be disastrous, and Bulls could be out of a job by the end of the season, but on the other, people are expecting him to fail, and if he doesn't, and somehow fires this team into the playoffs, he might be a candidate for Coach of the Year. It seems controversial to even mention this man's name with the potential of getting fired, but 
but we just have to. All good things must come to an end, and it's hard to ignore the recent struggles of the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick will go down as an all-time coach. He's been in charge of the Patriots since the year 2000 and is by far the longest serving head coach in the league. During that time, he's won six Super Bowls, nine AFC championships, and made the playoffs 18 times. There's no denying his successes, but the wheels have fallen off over the past couple of seasons. It might not necessarily be all Bill's fault, but Mac Jones has looked mediocre so far. He was benched mid-season last year for rookie Bailey Zapp, and New England finished 8-9 and nine and missed the playoffs. This year, most, if not all, are expecting New England to finish bottom of the AFC East. Buffalo, Miami, and the Jets have all been steadily getting better, and the Patriots have fallen behind. How do they bring themselves back into the frame? Some think the answer is a coaching change. I'd be surprised if Robert Kraft openly fired Bill Belichick after so much success over the years, but the two might come to a gentleman's agreement at the end of the season if things don't go well. It could truly be the end of an era. Who do you think gets fired first this season? Let us know in the comments.